I do like that song. really likes that song. If you remember, we did a uh, coin toss before the match. We do, yeah. And uh, Adam won the uh, the coin toss. I so won that? You, it was, it was, uh, <laughs> oh, man. I, I wasn't remember. even there. I'm so I wasted. I want to leave I for remember. It. it was an excellent call. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go first. Is that okay? <laughs> People stare at me like, that's really That's uncommon. not what they do in 8 Mile. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to... Can I kick... Spin that shit, be your rabbit. Um, yeah, I'll go first. Do I just... Do I really just start? Adam Cousins, fastest jokes in the West starts now! All right. Uh, I'd like to point out to the ladies in the room uh, that I am black from the West Town. Um, but that's primarily due to frostbite. <laughs> I'm not ready! <laughs> <laughs> you guys ever experienced that weird uh, uh, phantom vibrate sensation? Where it feels like your phone is going off in your pocket, but in reality you're just having a stroke? <laughs> I am from Portland, Oregon. Portland's a little different than LA, you know? Like in Portland it rains all the time. And in L.A., there's black people. Yeah. <laughs> you guys remember in the 90s uh, when everybody's really into water conservation? We had those slogans like, if it's yellow, light it mellow. If it's brown, you probably got a urinary tract infection. <laughs> uh, pretty lucky to get a job when I moved out here. I work at an all-Latino auto body shop in North Hollywood. Uh, it's kind of fun. They've accepted me as the white boy, you know? <laughs> they even give me little Spanish nicknames. Like, they call me Gordo Gringo. <laughs> 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 uh, I, used to date a, I used to date a girl uh, with HPV. Uh, hella pretty voice! Uh. <laughs> they call me Gordo Gringo? No. <laughs> which means... <laughs> I, I did some stand-up comedy in Soldatna, Alaska about two months ago, uh, where I discovered Eskimo hecklers know 3,600 words for get off the stage. <laughs> they call me Gordo Gringo, which... <laughs> I don't talk a lot about sex in my act. I do know. I do know. I do know one thing. If you're fooling around with a woman and she asks you what your favorite position is, don't tell her assistant manager. <laughs> They call me Gordo Gringo, which means strong leader. <laughs> I'm just joking. Our favorite sex position is both wearing t-shirts. <laughs> been traveling around a bunch. Went down to Venice Beach. You guys been there? Yeah, that place sucks, huh? I won't go to Venice Beach, and I really need a Bob Marley flag. Won't do it. <laughs> There. I'm getting very close to a new career milestone. I want everybody to know. Uh, I am. I'm getting very close to the taking experimental medications for money phase of my career. <laughs> Too many homeless people down there. You know, everybody's asking me for something. It's so annoying. I had to pull one of those Jurassic Park diversion cigarettes just to get to my car the other night. That's where you pull a cigarette out and you're like... <sighs> <laughs> I tried to get in my car, this homeless guy popped up next to me, I was like, clever girl. <laughs> fucking beat me. <laughs> Gotta get the fucking funny part in, Jesus Christ. It's beeping me on the setup. Gosh, you guys remember that? Shut uh, up! <laughs> this is real. <laughs> You know I fuck him up in a fight, though. In a real fight, I fuck him up. Pretty deep observations here. <laughs> I'm not sure which one. That's Richard. Richard, yeah. Was that, Richard, was that oh. count as my turn? I was just improv and I'm a goof. <laughs> You remember, like, the, the, remember Malaysian Air Flight 370? Nope. And, like, how that, that went missing. Probably. And then, like, about a month ago, there was that, that Asian Air flight that went missing for a while. I hate to be the negative guy, but 
you know, like, all these missing Asian airplanes really aren't going to do anything for the stereotype that they're all bad drivers. Uh, I, I saw a homeless guy smoking weed the other night. That's kind of weird. Why would a homeless guy smoke something that's going to make him more hungry, you know? It's like, hey, buddy, don't you know there's meth out there? <laughs> this, uh, this guy, uh, I came out of... I came in the bathroom the other day, and uh, and I went to shake this guy's hand, and I really quickly, preemptively said, "Oh, so I sorry, it's white. I, I just I just washed my hands. Like, what's the other possible ones? Oh, sorry, my hands. Well, I just pissed all over my hands. <laughs> sorry, it's what I I just pissed all entirely." Over my hands. <laughs> Two minutes left. Kind of okay. broke right now. <laughs> kind of broke right now. Don't let this cool outfit throw you off. Um, kind of broke. I am a. Before, uh, before I met my wife, I'm a married guy. Before I met my wife, I uh, I used to have a saying about the kind of women I was into. I used to say, uh, I like my women, like I like my bottles of wine, full of wine. <laughs> I'm so broke right now, I lost my wallet the other day, and it didn't even matter. <laughs> I'm so broke that if I won the lottery, it would really only be considered a step in the right direction. <laughs> I was like, man, I really wanted those Subway coupons and the Magnum condom. <laughs> you know you need to make some changes in your life when your retirement plan consists of jumping in front of an expensive car. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I don't, uh, I just try to step on your laughter. <laughs> well, I know the worst part about that is, don't even live in a good enough neighborhood to make that happen. I would actually have to take a bus in order to jump in front of an expensive car. That's going back to the previous joke. I always wanted to be a comedian, even when I was a little kid. Well, that's not exactly true. I, when I was a little kid, I wanted to be on the cover of the Wheaties box. <laughs> then I realized you got to be really good at sports to do that. So afterwards, I just settled on the milk carton. Hey, I made it to the breakfast table, and all I had to do was get inside that guy's van. <laughs> all right, it's halftime. <laughs> just do all the same jokes on this side of the I'm taking my mic with me, thank you very much. I'm not giving you this mic, this one's the heat stick. Yeah, I don't want white boy shit on my shit, you know? Sorry. Adam, is this everything you expected coming in tonight? I don't even know what that means. <laughs> yeah, it's everything I expected it to be. Bane, how about you? Uh, is, this a, is it a letdown? Or if I like lose, it? he gets to fuck me in the ass. If I win... <laughs> He fucks me. I, he, it's he a good fucks. trade off for everybody. It's a winning proposition. It's on the balance. Hey, what? All what? right, that's halftime. The second half oh, that's starts now. Thing. We wrote that that little bit during halftime. We yeah. wrote that. <laughs> Richard Bain, you kick off the second half right, right. now. Very political. I don't know if you can tell by my act so far. Um, <laughs> Very political. I actually went out and canvassed for Barack Obama. I canvass in places people might not vote for him, you know? Like, I go on a hot topic and be like, Excuse me, ma'am, sir, who are you voting for this year? You know, they're always like, like Well, maybe you should consider voting for Barack Obama. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my wife and I donated some money to help our friends adopt a baby. And uh, now they have that baby. And I'm pretty sure I own part of that baby. <laughs> um, no, I'm just thinking of the jokes I did. Um, no, you're good. Fuck. You have, so, you have so much material, Richard. I know. Uh, I told this girl I love her the other night, and she didn't say it back. I was like, yo, mom. <laughs> Uh, my sister gave birth uh, about a year ago, and uh, when she had the baby, she, they didn't know what sex it was going to be. Uh, she said all she cared about was that it, w it came out uh, happy and healthy. Uh, needless to say, uh, she was very disappointed when it came out screaming, covered in blood. <laughs> oh for two. <laughs> oh for two. <laughs> oh boy. I, I, uh, I just um, kind of bombed right now. I just broke up with my side bitch. <laughs> The first thing I did when we got married was my wife and I bought a new bed. Uh, 
And I bet I bet the guy at the furniture store said that they could pick up and remove my old mattress for free. I told him that's okay. I can deflate it myself. <laughs> when I'm done making love to myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my wife's not here tonight, and I want everyone to know that's okay. She's a very independent person. That's one of the reasons we click so great. I like to go out and do stand-up. She has her own life. Here's an example. My wife uh, is such an independent person that I have no idea where she is right now. <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a rhythm to my act, and it keeps getting interrupted, so if I seem flustered, that's why. <laughs> You know, any house can be a haunted house if you just murder enough people in it. <laughs> this guy called me a racist the other day. Can you believe that? He called me a racist. I was like, man, if I'm a racist, my porn's got a lot of explaining to do. <laughs> uh, in high school, my nickname was The Animal. Uh, because I was tenacious on the football field. And occasionally could be found eating from a dumpster. <laughs> it's like, when I'm done making love to myself, I usually just roll over and crash my car into a cheerleading camp. I can't stop talking at this point. I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> I don't know if you guys recognize me, I'm pretty successful. I was, uh, I was actually in uh, one of last year's Best Picture nominees. Uh, I was an extra in the movie Gravity. And if you think about it, we all were. I live in a pretty rough neighborhood, it's kind of scary. Uh, I got lots of gangs, lots of gangs tagging the walls and stuff. You ever see the MS-13 gang? You ever see them? Kind of freaks me out, because... I'm a Mac guy. <laughs> I, used to, I used to work at a coffee shop where my uh, manager had this real positive uh, expectations of us. She used to say, don't forget, the most important part of your uniform is your smile. That's not what she said on the day I forgot to wear pants. <laughs> Oh boy, fuck. I'm just thinking of long jokes now. Do you, does it matter? <clears throat> does, uh, fuck. Fuck pressure, you know? It's. It, <laughs> bing, bing, bing! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I really like drinking coffee, I'm a big coffee fan. Uh, I think my, people have different ways they measure how much coffee they drink. Usually it's like uh, they talk about how much they like it based on amounts. Like some people say, like, hey, a cup of coffee, you know. Some people like take it up a notch. Like, I like a pot. Like a whole pot of coffee, you know. I have my own unit of measuring coffee. Uh, shits! Uh, for instance, this morning I had three shits of coffee. <laughs> That's the that, easy, that's Tommy Two-Toe. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we have a tie. One to one, it goes to the audience vote. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Adam Cousins. <laughs> what? You won? Fuck this. <laughs> now put your hands together for Richard Bay. <laughs> Now it's the prize time. It was so easy. Adam sucks. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Brett Brady. <laughs> Do you want the drink ticket or what's in the prize pouch? Or a night out with me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you have to answer though. Right. The prize pouch. Yeah. You've won. Three of the greatest movies of all time, Bill and Ted, Excellent Adventure, <laughs> Spaceballs, and Richard's favorite, The Princess Bride! Inconceivable! <laughs> <laughs>
I'm actually, I'm not drinking. 